Have you ever wondered if your smartphone is smarter than you? It might sound like a funny question but when you stop and think about it, it's not so far-fetched. After all, it's your phone that reminds you of your appointments, suggests the fastest route to work, and even recommends what movie to watch next. But how does your phone do all of this? The answer is artificial intelligence or AI. Every day AI is working behind the scenes making our lives easier and more convenient. It's the invisible hand that guides us through the digital world, predicting our wants and needs before we even know them ourselves. But it's not just in our phones, it's in our social media feeds, our online shopping recommendations and so much more. Yet as much as AI is a part of our lives it's also a subject of debate. How far will it go? What are the risks? So, what exactly is this thing we call artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence or AI isn't as complex as it might sound. It's a term that many of us have heard, but not everyone knows what it really means. Picture this, a technology that can think, learn, and make decisions just like we humans do. That's what AI is all about. So, let's break it down. Imagine you're teaching someone how to play chess. You'd explain the rules, demonstrate some strategies, and then let them play. Over time, they'd get better, right? They'd learn from their mistakes, adapt their strategies, and eventually they might even beat you. That's exactly how AI works. It learns from experience, it makes decisions based on what it has learned, and it gets better over time. Now it's important to note that there are two main types of AI, narrow AI and general AI. Narrow AI is like a specialist, it's designed to perform a specific task such as voice recognition. Think of your virtual assistant that wakes you up every morning or the GPS that guides you on your road trips. These are examples of narrow AI. They're incredibly good at what they do but they can't do anything else. On the other hand, general AI is like a jack of all trades. Theoretically, it can perform any intellectual task that a human being can. It's like a super smart human brain but in machine form. But don't fret, we're far from having a machine that can write a best-selling novel or compose a symphony. So when we talk about AI, we're usually referring to narrow AI. It's the type of AI that's all around us, powering our smartphones, recommending what movie to watch next, or even helping doctors diagnose diseases. In other words, AI is a machine's ability to mimic human intelligence, and it's all around us. So, why should we care about artificial intelligence? Well, the answer is simple and complex at the same time. We interact with AI more often than we realize. Every time you see a personalized ad, use a voice assistant, or marvel at the predictive text on your phone you're interacting with a form of AI, it's not just a sci-fi concept or a tool for tech giants anymore. It's become a part of our everyday lives, silently working in the background to make things a little easier, a little more efficient. But AI is more than just a convenience tool. It holds the potential to revolutionize entire industries. In healthcare, AI could assist doctors in diagnosing diseases, or help researchers in finding the next breakthrough. In finance, it could predict market trends or detect fraudulent activities. In education, it could personalize learning experiences or automate administrative tasks. The possibilities are vast, and we're only scratching the surface. However, like any powerful tool, AI comes with its own set of ethical considerations and potential risks. As we delegate more decisions to AI, we need to ask ourselves, who's responsible if something goes wrong? How do we ensure that AI is fair and doesn't perpetuate existing biases? How do we protect our privacy in an era of data-driven AI? These are complex questions with no easy answers, but they are questions we need to grapple with as we continue to innovate and push the boundaries of what's possible with AI. And let's not forget, AI is still a tool, a creation of human ingenuity. It's our responsibility to guide its development and use it wisely. We need to balance the immense potential of AI with a thoughtful approach to its risks and challenges. Artificial intelligence is more than just a buzzword, it's a tool that's reshaping our world whether we realize it or not. It's an exciting time to be alive to witness the dawn of this AI era. But let's not be mere spectators, let's participate, let's question, let's shape the future of AI together.